What's up guys? We're back here in our dumpster uh, for another week. I'm hoping to keep this chain, reclaim it, so we'll get started. Let's get to it. Absolutely. I don't know if he's going to be able to keep it through Thanksgiving or if it'll fit him after Thanksgiving, but we're going to give it a shot. Hey, hot off the presses, guys. Today, great index for local manufacturing. The Philly, um, the Philly Fed number was 38. The estimate was 24, and it was hitting on 24 two months in a row. And to have a 14-point spike right in November is awesome, and that is a great sign for us. We can tell because our customers are busy, but that's a really good sign for us to have that pop, and that just happened this morning. Um, so... That's something we're going to start with, and now we're going in to, we have a bunch of Lucid fanboys here. It's disgusting. I can't get out of the way of this. But we're going to have a discussion on Lucid versus Rivian. So let's go. Isaiah, what are we thinking, man? Um, yes, when it comes to uh, electric vehicles, I am very biased on Lucid. Um, <laughs> last week, I went to Tyson Corner in West Virgi or Virginia, actually, to see their showroom. They have a new one down there. Um, the stock's been blowing up lately. It's been uh, it's been running up. Uh, I think the future is bright. Um, it also has won Motor Car Motor Trend Car of the Year. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know. We're picking. So <laughs> what we're deciding is which one's going to go up faster, Rivian or Lucid this week. I'm the only one. So. Oh, no, no really. I, I went with Rivian. You did too. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm a believer. I am too. I'm I don't know. I don't know if I like I like Lucid that much. These two with their dream airs <laughs> or whatever for seven hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely in. They're definitely yeah. in. Carrie, let's talk about the dollar, man. So yeah, as far as the dollar goes, we keep on seeing it climb higher and higher. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It, Right now, it's sitting at around 97. 97. 96. It's almost 96. 96. Yeah. It's, don't don't say 97. Our metal will get out even more. <laughs> oh my! And that's that's almost a 52 week week high from what we've seen before. And uh, some things that kind of change the dollar and the price, how strong it is, is other countries. Uh, their currencies are really being affected right now, especially in a country like Turkey. They're seeing a lot of currency issues. Uh, so, yeah, that's just something we're going to keep an eye out for, and uh, we'll see what the dollar goes into next week. Absolutely. And uh, as you can see here on this one, we're basically um, looking at Carrie and I think it's going to go up more, which is bad news for us. The other two, the Lucid boys, are, are thinking down. So thinking we'll down see. Everyone's week. together this week on that. Yeah, so that will be interesting. You can see, guys, this week, uh, it's, it was a really bad week for metals, um, really dependent a lot on the dollar. It's, it's really moving with it. Copper is hovering right around 424. Nickel is right around 871. So we did a challenge this week. What do we think by the time we do this Tuesday? Which one's going to be higher, copper or nickel? Um, and across the board, nope, carries the uh, oddball. How many times have we said that with that mullet on? Carries the oddball, and he's saying copper is going to grow more next week than nickel. Why was you, what was your thought on copper? Uh, basically, I just looked everyone else had nickel, oh <laughs> so, my God. so I, I had to be different and go with copper. I see. So, yeah, that was my uh, theories behind it. I understand. I understand. Well, we'll see how that goes. yeah, we'll see. And it's interesting because um, the, the, the dollar drag, I think, really is going to hurt. We'll see. The EV hype, which seems to be spreading out into other parts of the market, you always think that gives nickel an edge. Uh, right now, but we'll see. Who knows? So we will find out. Alex, why don't we go to the big matchup? Yep. So the fantasy football. Yep, we have a big fantasy matchup, as you guys can see. Uh, we've been doing it every week, and we have uh, Pat Mahomes is back. So my quarterback, he's he's been not playing too well lately, but last week he had a, a big 30-point game, so we'll see how he can do. He plays the Cowboys and Dak Prescott. So it looks like uh, me and Isaiah are together again. Okay. You think Pat Mahomes is going to do all right, and then Dan and Kerry, they're going for Dak. So absolutely, we'll see how things that go. That should be a good game too. That should be a really good game. A shootout. Not that it matters as a Bronco fan <laughs> after the embarrassment last oh, week. The Eagles. Oh, ugly, 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 ugly. Kerry, what do we have to look forward to going into Thanksgiving? Obviously, we're going to see a lot of. Um, retail reports, how did Black Friday do and all that. That's going to be a lot of it. But what mm -hmm. things are we looking at? 
So some other big events that we're looking at. Uh, we're hoping that the Fed and the the market manufacturing index break their silence uh, that they've been kind of not been saying anything about. Uh, the the Fed and stuff for the past sure. couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, that'll get it done. And uh, October was a 58.4 for the for the market manufacturing index. So it's going to be telling uh, where November is, and that's uh, Tuesday, I believe. Yes. And yeah. then, well, the interesting thing will be that reading was 58.4. That Philly weird index that we just had today um, really bumped almost. Oh, you could almost say it's like a 50% bump off the base. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anyone is thinking the National Manufacturing Index is going to do that, but we'll see what happens. Maybe it will surprise. Yeah. Who knows? And then uh, after that, like you said, it's a slew of customer confidence. And, of course, Black Friday is coming up, and uh, data will set the course for December. So we'll see what happens in the coming weeks with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And obviously, we're going to decide who wins early next week, but then we have the best time of year, Thanksgiving, best meal of the year, best holiday, because there's no nonsense with it. It's just, it's a good one. It's a great one, right? Oh, it is yeah. a great it's, one. Yeah. So Isaiah, what, what, what are we going to, we're going to we'll vote on this one. What are we thinking here? Sweet potatoes or mashed potatoes? Um, I go with mashed potatoes every time. Every time? Every time. Not a doubt? Nope. Wow. Just plain mashed potatoes or like uh, extra some, butter? Some gravy. Oh, gravy, your gravy. Boys, anything spicing up or no? So, okay. uh, so out of the two, I would have to go with mashed, but I think my personal favorite is scalloped potatoes. Oh. <laughs> but that wasn't an option, so. That's always a letdown when I see them. Scalloped potatoes? Yeah, yeah, it's cheese? just like, oh, yeah, no. You don't, like, it's just a letdown. Because you, you're hungry for something and you see that? I don't I, know. I feel that's my You? Favorite. Um, I'd have to go with mashed potatoes over sweet. I do like sweet, but I think my favorite thing is cranberry sauce. So yeah, that's true. Cranberry is awesome. Yes. I go with sweet all the time. Um, I love like the cinnamon, the extra butter in there. But the biggest letdown is when someone brings a sweet potato pie that looks like a pumpkin pie. Oh, that wow, actually that might be the biggest like yeah. psych of uh, Thanksgiving. I'm going to go with that. Well, hey, we wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving from the dumpster. Hope you have a great one and very thankful for all of our friends and customers.